Some people prefer to choose a spot where they like to have a borehole. But so if you have a property, maybe a thousand square meters or fifteen hundred squares or two thousand squares, or a, you cannot simply just choose a spot, right, where you'd like to have a borehole drill. You gotta cite the borehole. And how do you cite a borehole? For centuries, there have been people that have been using these so-called dowsing rod, or they also call it water witching. Another method that was used is a, a fork stick, right? and um, i'm not gonna go through what people do with it I, that's there's enough information out there on the internet or even on youtube but i just want to show you what dowsing what the dowsing rods are like there was a water dowser who offered uh, me offered me to cite a borehole and he was asking about i think 650 rand to come here with these two rods and what he does is he'll just walk around the property when the rods cross that indicates the water down uh, underground and as long as the wall the rods are away or parallel or away from each other then there's no water now what is, what is a water dowser actually looking for according to what they say what these water dowsers say they are scanning for fractures underground now you can also employ a geohydrologist a geohydrologist is a trained surveyor and i think that he or she has a bsc in uh, geology or i'm not sure if it's hydrogeology but they are called geohydrologists okay those professionals are quite expensive they will charge anywhere between 10 and 25000 rand depending on the site of your on the size of your property to survey or site a uh, groundwater and if essentially they are doing the same thing they're scanning for fractures underground okay if there are fractures underground beneath the earth's surface so how it works is you have your topsoil up to about 10 to 15 meters and below that you have the solid granite rock it's called overburden so if you want to take a look at what um, what the granite looks like this is granite okay so when during the drilling process between 8 to 15 meters will be sand the, the, the loose sand then you get the clay sand and then you get the granite so what the water surveying does is it scans for fractures in that granite and groundwater naturally it flows it seeps into the fracture and then it sort of forms a a reservoir or a, an underground river within those fractures and the flow of groundwater is exponentially slower than the flow of surface water so groundwater doesn't flow as fast as uh, surface water it may flow maybe i think i've read one meter a year and that's how slow it moves so we spoke about the water dowsing i am not going to say whether it works or whether it doesn't work because i don't understand the science behind it and i don't understand what these water dowsers do the second method that you can use is a an individual who is not a geohydrologist however they are trained in using the serving equipment so the equipment that they use there's a, a machine strapped to their chest and there's a probe they will walk around the property and they will drop the probe onto the ground and they'll look for a reading they'll walk further they'll drop the probe into the ground they'll look for a reading there are some water dowsers that can tell you how deep water the water is but I've watched, watched a video on YouTube and that was disproven. So generally speaking, water dowsers will not tell you how deep the water is. The people that are trained to use the, that equipment with the probe, they will also not, not tell you how deep the water is. And there's a reason for that. When the driller comes, the driller will ask you, he won't ask the water dowser, he'll ask you, the owner of the property, where do you want to drill? So the driller and the dowser or the water witches or the water surveyors they work independently of each other okay but generally speaking a driller will recommend a water dowser or a surveyor to you because they prefer to work with uh, with those particular people that they regularly work with they're comfortable with them the water dowser or the surveyor will mark the spot it may give you two or three spots depending on the size of your property and then when the driller comes you need to tell the driller where to drill the driller will not just drill anyway. The drillers, I've also noticed, some of them do have these dowsing rods and they are regularly scanning 
for the fractures as they drill. We've spoken about water dowsing with the dowsing rods. We've spoken about the surveyors with the electro electrical equipment that will that has a probe and they're scanning for fractures. And then we've also spoken about the geohydrologists. Now the geohydrologists, I didn't um, really explore much with them because they're pretty expensive. I'm not sure whether any of them is capable of citing groundwater where it will yield at least 1000 liters or more. The geohydrologists, what they'll also do is they will look at um, the relief map of the area and to understand the flow of water before they come on site they will also they also have equipment that they that they use to scan for fractures and they also use google earth to survey the property before coming on site and they can give you a quotation before they come through they will also ask if you can find out if other people have uh, uh, drill boreholes or water wells in your area and how deep it is because that will give them an indication the depth that they will have to go but I've heard of many people saying that their neighbor drilled up to 40 meters and they had to drill 100 meters so that means that it's not the same aquifer An aquifer is just that reservoir of groundwater below ground that uh, that the driller will be drilling into and that is it i believe i've covered everything if you have any questions please please put it down in the comments and please share your experience as well because i'm still new to this game <laughs> um, i'm still learning about it but i'll be keen to understand what your experience is thank you very much for watching and please subscribe for the next video